It's a return to three stars for Tine Stange this week, who helped secure second place in the group for Larvik with an eight-goal performance against Fleury Laurie. In a game that was end-to-end -end from start to finish, she excelled when it came down to crunch time. It's been a Cinderella story for the left-back who suffered a setback due to injuries which saw her take a back seat before catapulting herself back into the limelight at just the right time in the season. We take our hats off to you, Tina Stange. Big games call for big names and they don't get much bigger than Nerea Pena. In a duel between Ferenc Varos and Bayamare, she takes the responsibility on herself and delivers the goods again with a total of seven goals. Her tally for the season so far stands at an impressive 59, making her the 11th best finisher in the Women's EHF Champions League. The backcourt player would guide her team to a 21-18 win against the Romanian side, and her strength in one-on-one -on -one situations would lay down the foundations for success in the final stage of the main round. Maya Sokac can sometimes be overshadowed by her talented teammates, but in a game against Severhoof, it was her time to shine. With fire in her feet on the counter and a powerful approach to one-on-one -on -one encounters, she also possesses ability from the seven-meter line. She would finish with seven goals to her name, her best performance of the season so far. And in her second term with Vardar Skopje, she's enjoying her most successful spell in the Women's EHF Champions League. Very warm welcome to Three Stars.